Welcome to my YouTube automotive channel. In today's video I have a 2012 uh, Ford Explorer Limited and I will show you how to remove and replace this uh, front side entry keypad. Now as you can see in my case this uh, keypad is uh, cracked and it doesn't work so I got aftermarket one online and now I will try to replace it. This video should apply to Ford Explorers made from 2011 all the way up to 2019. Okay, so here I've got the one I purchased online. Now, I've never replaced this before, but by the looks of it, there is no screws holding it or anything. There are just two black uh, pins here and a double-sided tape that goes all around. So first I will try to remove the old one. So what I will do, I will use a scalpel or knife to cut all around here. Now I also believe this bottom piece is also tucked in under that rubber piece on the door. So probably I will have to remove that rubber piece to be able to pull this out. And then I also have to figure out where is this cable connected as well. I might have to even remove the door panel to gain access to it but we'll see okay so just like i said i will cut here all the way down okay i'll try to record it a bit better as well okay so the top of my keypad accidentally snapped how i tried to pull it off but it's not a big deal it's broken anyway so again as you can see just have to get in with the knife from this side and cut this uh, this double-sided tape on both sides and this pin should just pop off as well I, I broke it so honestly most likely will broke break yours as well because this is quite hard to remove without doing any damage but if you're replacing it like I said no big deal because you will install a new one right okay now once this old piece is off it's gonna just be hanging on this wire and now unfortunately you will have to remove the inner door panel to be able to disconnect this wiring and then connect again the new piece you are installing. So this is not such a small job, so now we go to remove the inner door panel. Okay, so one more thing before you will be installing the new piece here, you want to completely clean this old tape and remove this, uh, these things if they are still inside. So once everything is nice and clean, you'll have no problem attaching your new piece. Okay, now to remove the door panel, first you will have to remove a couple of plastic covers. You will have one here and one down here. Now the best tool to use would be a plastic trim remover, that way you will not make damage uh, to these plastics. If you don't have it, you can use a flat screwdriver or anything similar, just in that case, be careful. Okay, so this is the piece. I had to use both of my hands to hold the handle while popping this off. You'll see on the back side, it just has a couple of these plastic tabs. Now you wanna do the same on this small panel down there. Okay, you see, I just want to pretty much pop it out. And again, here you will have two 10 millimeter screws to remove. Now I'm doing this for the first time, but I think uh, you should remove this piece as well. Just because you'll have to leave the panel up to get it off uh, this thing. So same thing, you just pretty much pop it out. Okay, just like that. Now you can remove this 10 millimeter screw right here. Once that one is out, you want to remove these two guys down there. Once uh, these are out, you will have two 7 millimeter screws, one here and one just there on the other side. Okay. 
once all the screws are out now you'll have to pop off the door panel now to do that you'll have to use uh, a large uh, plastic uh, trim removal tool or if you don't have it you can even do it with uh, bigger flat screwdriver just again you have to be careful not to break the plastic pins which are holding this door panel there is a bunch of pins all around behind the door panel so what you want to do you want to pry the panel off all around right starting from the bottom all the way up until you get it uh, nice and loose and then you can remove it completely i'll have to use both of my hands to do this i can show you here uh, how these pins look not sure if you can see it okay I see there's a bunch of these white pins okay once you have all those pins out you just want to leave the panel up of this uh, door pin and slowly lower it down now the only left the uh, only thing left to do is to disconnect a couple of uh, wires and then you can completely remove the panel okay so first you want to disconnect these two there's like a small black pin on top you want to press it and pull out same thing with this one now press it and pull out okay then down there you will have a power window switch same thing there is like a small tab which you want to press and just disconnect it i have to use both of my hands to hold the panel but all of them are pretty much the same so pin here on the top and this one right here also you see just a pin you want to press and pull down and once that is done the last thing to do is to disconnect the door handle now that's quite easy to do i'll show you what has to be done you see there is like this small ball inside here and you'll have two tabs to push down here so what you want to do um, i'll try to record this you want to press with the pliers just like this onto these tabs and then you want to pull this cable out and once you remove it then you can detach uh, that ball and detach the, the handle now again i'll have to use both of my hands i can't record while doing this but this is quite simple so just press here pull out the cable and detach everything okay i will show it to you one more time once i have it off so the idea is this you press this together then pull it out and then detach the door handle okay now once the panel is off we just have to figure out um where is that uh keypad wire connected to and disconnect it and then remove the old keypad completely and just install the new keypad in its place okay now you want to cut off uh, this glue to remove this uh, water protector to get access to all of the wiring and everything inside the door panel once you're done you can re-glue this uh, back okay now i will show you the connector you have to remove is this one right here so just behind this uh, this doorknob this is the one you want to disconnect and once you do that there's also like a small um, black tab here on this side you want to press it and pull it out and then you should be able to completely remove the old door key panel install the new one and plug it in right here okay okay so i have it uh, unplugged and now the last thing you have to do you see it's still being held up there uh, by some kind of a plastic clip you see here so you just have to unclip that and that's everything then you can completely remove uh, remove it from the car okay and that's it and now like i said the next thing would be to completely clean all these from the old tape and from the debris and then you'll be ready to install a new one so make sure when you're installing the new piece to first pull out pull down this wire and uh, plug it in and then uh, glue it and that's it okay so i've got my new piece plugged in 
this is all nice and clean and now I'll just remove the uh, surface this protection from the double-sided tape and I will glue it and that's it job done and I will have nice and new uh, keypad panel Thank you for visiting my channel and watching my video. I hope it was helpful and educational. If it was, please like it and consider subscribing to my YouTube automotive channel. On my channel there is lots of how-to videos, do-it-yourself videos, car reviews, product reviews and other similar automotive topics.